Hello, thank you for joining us. All this week, it's the Shots Foundation Community Awareness Week. We're going to be out and about, um, visiting some of the places, meeting some of the people behind the community initiatives that Shots Foundation are involved with, with All the Shot Town Football Club. And in a moment, we're going to be meeting uh, Dave Shaw. Uh, and Dave is involved in sight loss soccer. Uh, and Dave, really keen to know, um, can you explain for someone who doesn't know, what is sight loss soccer and who's it for? Sight loss soccer pool is an opportunity to play football. Um, we introduce players from the age of 17 upwards to any tail end uh, age bracket. If they feel they've still got the capabilities or want to get involved in football and are dealing with any uh, low vision problems, sight loss entirely, uh, we'd love them to come along, play the adapted version of football, get them involved um, for their own well-being, health reasons, uh, the community spirit behind it, really. And uh, we're, we're here setting up behind as we're, we're beginning to get ahead of uh, planning a session. Um, uh, when, when do the sessions take place? And we're, we're, uh, obviously we're here at the Aldershot Garrison Sports Centre. Uh, so that's a great venue to be having the event. What time and how often does it happen? The sessions are run on a monthly basis. Uh, it's generally the first Monday of each month and they run from 5.30 to 6.30. And there's some different versions of the game because we're here rattling this uh, the ball here. Yep. Um, but but depending on uh, who's here, you can adapt the game slightly as well. So it's it's open to quite a wide range of uh, people who might want to come along and play, isn't it? Very very much so, Paul. Uh, we've gone with the approach that we want to make it as much pan disability. So not only covering players that are dealing with sight loss issues, but if they might have other medical issues or disabilities, we'd love to encourage them to come along. And give it a try and adapt the game in ways that is favourable for all parties taking part. Now you're a big shot supporter, so it's nice you're able to wear the shots badge <laughs> on your shirt and play football. Oh yes, uh, something shots. I dream of. Um, and you're a big instigator, you've been behind this programme, so just tell me how it came about and uh, where you are now with it. Firstly for me, uh, on a personal level, um, I had to give up football probably 25 years ago um, as being my main sport. There weren't adaptive versions around at that point in time. Um, I was seeking local football opportunities through groups like British Blind Sports, Sport Active and the FA, um, but was unable to find anything in the local area. So with the help of the club and the foundation, um, we set about looking to bring something to the local community and our sessions have been running for just over a year now. And does it help having that um, association with, with the football club and with the Shots Foundation? The behind the scenes benefits of having a large org organisation like the club itself, um, their brand, particularly with the run that they've had this year, and the, the awareness promotion, that the club is Promotion getting. chasing all the Shot Town football club. Oh, yeah. very yeah. much so. Yeah. But that actually helps as well, yeah. Definitely, you know, w without that name, um, you know, as a small group, it may have been far more difficult for players to potentially find us. So. You know, we're grateful to the club with everything that they've offered to us so far. And, and apart from the obvious benefits of, of being able to play football still, what, what, what other impacts do you, have, do you think it has on the actual participants in terms of the, the, the wider sort of social inclusion? There's a, there's a huge um, health benefit to anybody that's um, uh, you know, able to still be involved with sport. So you've got the health implications, you've got the mental health awareness aspect to it. You've got the belonging, feeling part of a community, that type of thing, and then new friendships and benefits that you can make from there by being associated. So it's you know, a wonderful experience for anybody to, to get involved with. So because this is an FA disability activity, I guess that has its benefits as well. But I'm interested if someone was to come along to a session, so is it open to anyone? Do they have to audition? Um, or register, and what actually happens when they when they come along? Can they just turn up? Yeah. Currently speaking, it's a community-run session for 17s and upwards. Um, they can turn up on the night if they've found out the details previously. They can research it through the Shots Foundation uh, website. Um, they can contact Jamie McAllister at the Shots directly. And it's open to players of all abilities or even those which have never played football before. It's an introduction and an opportunity. We want to make it a fun time for them, an exciting place to be and help them along their journey. And how long is the session? What time do you start and how long does it run for? Sessions are for an hour. They run Monday evenings, so the first Monday of the month from 5.30 to 6.30.
and what kind of things would they be doing here? Uh, well, generally, uh, the sessions are run with some fun warm-up uh, to begin with, um, a competitive game um, at some stage during the course of the evening, and then some fun shooting practice or target practice, um, getting them working really on the essential skills, which is tracking the ball, using the sound of the ball in the auditorium you're playing in. So they're, they're the key skills to have. Sounds like a great idea. And sponsorship is also a really important part to, en to, make, to enable you to be able to play. I know that um, Western Automation uh, have pro provided funding, so you've got your own specialist kit and footballs, which you, you've been having to borrow up to this point. But you've also got other sponsors locally who have helped you? Yes, we have. You know, there's huge fees with sort of um, location hire, equipment, insurances. So I'd like to also thank um, Oasis Electricals and uh, Molco Commercial Kitchens for their involvement so, so far with um, our organisation and long may it continue. And finally, um, what, what, what would you hope to see in the future? What, where do you think this could go? Um, the future is limitless really. You know, we'd love numbers to grow with uh, more promotion and we'd also like to start bringing it into um, the youth kind of arena with players under 16 uh, being able to come along and um, you know, take up that opportunity. Super. Thanks for talking to us Dave. Enjoy your session. Uh, um, and we'll be back tomorrow to talk again. If you're interested in sight loss soccer, get in touch with Jamie McAllister at the Shots Foundation to find out more.